bike, walk. Cardio is obviously, like I said, you put that into cardio when you're going swimming. Hello, and welcome to another video. Now, I've been looking at my stats of my videos and first of all, seeing that uh, only 1% of you are subscribed. I've had nearly 125,000 views of this channel. So I am thinking about posting reviews rather on this channel, but on another channel called Let's Get It Reviewed, which is in the description below. If you want to click on there, if you want um, the reviews to go on there, let me know. If you'd rather have them on there over this channel. Um, anyway, about my new Garmin smartwatch. I wouldn't mind knowing how far I'm walking, how far, what calories I'm burning, how many steps I'm doing, and and how I'm able to link up with Strava to be to, to show that I can, what I'm actually doing exercise and see if I'm actually keeping fit. So. I bought this Garmin Forerunner 45 smartwatch and you may think oh it's just an active watch no well it is an active watch but it's also a smartwatch also when it links up to your phone Android or um, Apple it, uh, it does send notifications to you as well so you have WhatsApp you have Facebook someone's ringing you for instance as well it tells you on your watch that someone's calling you. Cool. So you can click it on your phone or on your on your um, your, your Bluetooth car thing and go hello, blah blah blah. blah. But it, the battery, I would say, if you're not doing loads of exercise, it'll last for days. But if you do like, if you exercise three times a week, it should easily last you five days, six days, this, this, the battery on this. It basically probably once a week if you're not doing loads of exercise. If you are, maybe twice a week, max, twice every 10 days, maybe. So it, it kicks the ass of the, of the iWatch. And just like the iWatch, you can change the, um, the strap via the four bolts on the back. And you wonder, what, what is that thing there? Well, that actually registers your um, your pulse and your calories and registers off off your off your on the top of your arm or if you have it there where some people I don't know why people are like having the, the watch there when you can just have it there but that's so to speak whatever's whatever floats your boat what is in the box well I'm not, I've, I've put the box away because to be honest what's in the box isn't very much you don't need it it's a watch you get the watch you get the charger but you don't get a plug with it so you have to find yourself a plug or you can use your your iPhone or your um, your Android plug you, you can charge it or whatever or buy a plug it's cheap enough you just plug that end into the back there so you plug that into there plug it in and it charges up you also get the instruction manual which basically tells you how to set it up which app to get to connect it to um, and that's about it really, it doesn't tell you much more. When you've done, it, when you've done an activity, you, you, you press stop and then it asks you if you want to save it or discard it. So you might save it if, you, if you're happy with what you've done. And then you go onto the app and it syncs the watch and then tells and then if it's um, linked up to Strava, which most of the time you should do if you're going to have one of these watches, link it up to Strava, then it does tell you it does say Strava it is ready for you to share to share it or the thing that does that it does like like I said is the swimming thing I will show you in a minute but what you can do with this watch is you can put it into cardio um, press play go swimming although the GPS won't act won't work underwater so it won't know what you're doing it will your timer like from one to whatever like I did um, 30 lengths of a 20 meter pool in 18 in 18 minutes. What you can do is when you go into Strava, you can find this. You can change it from running or cardio, change it to swimming, and then put in the description what you actually did. So it works in that way, which is really good. At least Strava is backed up, backs you up, and you can change what your activity you actually did, which is very good. It is waterproof, obviously, because you can go swim with it. 
I was a bit nervous with the um, with the opener charging connection there, getting a bit wet, but it does work. There's a little tab underneath the little strap that affect the base when you put it in. It digs into the holes there on the strap, and it digs into the holes in the strap, and it secures it. So rather than you the strap always getting loose and wobbling everywhere, it holds the strap down, which I think is very good because. It shows Garmin a really has a thought about stuff rather than you know just putting a strap on and it might undo. It actually holds the strap down for any activities you're doing. Um, you can't get many of these different cold straps on the Garmin website, but if you go on Amazon or eBay, you can get colour that suits you. This is about a hundred and this hundred and twenty odd quid when I bought it. And the next one up is about 170 to 200 quid. I'm not spending, like I said, 70 quid or 50 quid on just for just for like sw for swimming at the odd once once in a month I go swimming. This is perfectly fine for me. Go. I think you go to start, run. You press start, then you press run. Bike, walk. Cardio is obviously, like I said, you put that into cardio when you're going swimming. Yoga, which I quite like with yoga at the minute. Other. An ad. Now the ad bit is, there are more than just five uh, activities you can do. And then if you, do, if you don't want to go, go running, you just press clear and it goes back to normal you have a light you press that start once you find which one you want to do you press start and it finds gps then says right i'm ready you press start again and it starts going obviously this up and down tells you more about it to be honest the actual um the watch doesn't have many features as opposed to you just press you press clear on the notifications when it just notifies you press clear you press start to find what you want up and down to to do, select which one you want. You can go to the you go to the app to um, to add activities, but it is limited depending on, on what which watch you've chosen. It finds GPS. Then it tells you when it's ready. It's found it. You press start again. It starts the starts the clock. Tells you when you've done one kilometer, two kilometers, or one mile, two miles, depending on what you set it to. Um, and then when you finish, you press stop. And it, says, it says, "Do you want to save it or discard it?" You press save, and then uh, and then it set it, it goes. It syncs with the with the app, and then it syncs with the um, with Strava as well. One, if you don't, Strava is basically um, it's basically an activity app on your phone. Which most people use it just for bicycle cycling, but you can use it for running and all that stuff and cardio swimming etc you can show what you've done basically and you can meet people connect with people and keep active basically show your activity um, you can also on the on the app change your clock face I do have this clock face um, it was it was just the better one out of the lot if you don't like digital view because it does have your date the battery power the steps the distance also has the, the calories you're burning um, you can get a normal clock face like on, an, on a normal watch. You can different depending. Some are free, some do cost. But this, hello, Mister. Oh, hello. How are you doing, mate? This is where you get your different clock faces. If you go to that one, this is the one you get on the app. It tells you all your different steps. I'd as you can, that thing there's your watch. You can it's there. That syncs when you've done an activity. It starts spinning, and then it tells you you can share with with Strava all the different things you can do. Um, like you can choose if you go into your watch, you you set it up with all this activity options. Displayed activities. See, you can change to bike indoors, walk indoors. It's installed. I've installed these just in case I want them. I currently use that one. 
flag but like I said you don't want to look at those ones when you're riding or swimming picture and each day you do various things like steps so in the past seven days I've done quite a few steps as you can see go for the four weeks and you can see how many steps I've actually done in the past four weeks almost 27,000 steps well you can do various like I said you can do various things and this is one of my um, the runs I did when I was in Devon I was working in Mount Kelly College that's where I was staying so I ran there ran around that five or six times and ran and then stopped it there as I was going up because I was knackered and it tells you all that again same one again again did that again really I don't know what the hell that oh that was the walk that I did in Devon it was a different area I did went to, I went to um, a waterfall I hope you like this video um, if you haven't already like this video comment what you thought if you, th if you enjoyed it if it helped you um, if you're thinking of buying it or if you want to buy this one if it helps you decide whether to buy this one or the next one because if I could go back I would buy the 55 over the 45 but I'm not sending it back because I like this watch I don't need to weigh up whether the extra activities on the 40 on the 55 or the other ones are worth the extra money for me personally for the fact that I swim once a month possibly and maybe less um, it's not really worth me spending 70 50 to 70 quid I just put it into cardio as I said do it and then change it on Strava to what I've actually done so I'm happy with this, it does what I want it to do. Um, I hope it helps you choose which one to do, I hope it should, should make sure it shows that you can personalise it to yourself. Um, and it helps you to buy the correct watch for you. Um, I do research quite a lot about what, what stuff I want to buy. Please do subscribe down below. I have got 125,000 almost views by the time you watch this, it could be 130, 150, 200,000 views by the time you watch this, depending when you watch it. There are various um, gadgets on that I've got that I'm going to review again and again because people want to know what they like, if they, if they, if they last or if they break fast, someone say that. So I um, hope you like this video, our famous James on Facebook to follow my, all my um, videos I post on there. Uh, so follow me there, subscribe and thank you very much and see you all soon for another, hopefully another video that's going to be productive and helpful to you. Bye bye.